Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to cover a free fall problem. Our example here is a ball is dropped from a 20 meter building. How long did it take to fall? So as always, we should start with our known and our unknowns. So they tell us that the ball is dropped. So that in itself is a known value because when things are dropped, we know that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. <clears throat> It's dropped from a 20 meter height building. So that's gonna be our delta y. And since it falls downwards, we're gonna make it negative. And because this is a free fall problem, um, as the object falls, the acceleration is due to gravity. And so the acceleration is gonna be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The question asks, how long did it take to fall? So we are trying to find the time. So with these free fall problems, you have really an option of four different equations to use. And so the way that I teach it is based on what you have listed for your knowns and unknowns, whatever is not listed, you're gonna use the equation that doesn't have that variable in it. So for example, we have VI, we have Y, we have A, we have T. The only thing we don't have is VF. And so because we don't have VF, the only equation that doesn't have VF in it is our delta y equals vit plus one half at squared equation. So that's the equation that we are gonna use. So at this point, it's simply plugging in the values and solving. So our delta y is negative 20, vi was zero, a is negative 9.8. So when we solve, Anything times zero goes away. So even though we don't know that T, that becomes zero. So it goes away. So we're really left with one half times negative 9.8, which is negative 4.9 times T squared. Our next step is to get T squared by itself. So we'll divide by negative 4.9. When we do that, we get the answer 4.1 equals T squared. And then our last step is to square root to get t all by itself. So the square root of 4.1 turns out to be 2.02 seconds. All right, thanks for tuning in. I hope that this uh, video has helped you solve your own free fall problem.